over at Xanadu. Don't think he's played anybody the same level of uh, DK Will, who's been using Will forever. You know, since 64, probably. Daddy Kong. Daddy Kong Daddy Will. Daddy Kong. <laughs> That's good. All right, then, so we'll see how this match turns out. We are starting here on Battlefield between Tantalus' Rob and DK Will's Donkey Kong, which, uh, if you didn't know, that's actually what DK stands for. Yeah. Just for anyone, a very clueless, you know. And I'm surprised we're actually starting on Battlefield. It's a good change of pace. Usually we start off on Smashville, but I can see why both of them would want to go here first. I mean, both of them kind of aerially based, aerial based characters, rather, so they want to extend their combos a little bit. Rob has no problem controlling the ground, so I don't think he has a problem. Tan doesn't uh, let anyone start on the stage anyway. Oh, nah, really? I, play, I played him four times in tournament, both uh, all the time. He's like, no. Nah. So we start on Town of City every time. I mean, That's I funny. went first game. I don't know why he does that, but like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, Tantalus had a pretty huge lead there, but only a few hits from DK. DK Wills back in the game. He gets hit by the down smash. Looked like he was going to die. He got the spark, but not quite. This time? Yep. And, and one of the things I was uh, talking about before, so we were watching Brawl Finals. I feel like stale moves are weaker in this game mm -hmm. in terms of like how much they affect moves. Do you think that's right? I think so. It seems that way. I think you can double F smash and like the second F smash will definitely kill. Like if the first one's about to kill. He's out of fuel. He, he's out of fuel. Yeah, yeah he's, he's got nothing. Fuel. He was out of fuel like 10 minutes ago. I yeah. can't believe he's I, I think DK that Will just kept slapping him up. Like <laughs> just slapping him like actually up so he can like, please grab the ledge. Grab the ledge. You're out of fuel. I'm trying to save you, robot. It's like USAA DK. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goes for the spike there, but not quite. Rob has so many things that it looks like he's going to be open, but not quite. Like, he tried for the uh, that down air there. It didn't hit, and it looked like he had a lot of lag. It didn't. He was able to throw out that down smash super fast. Will, uh, Will, Will's, like, literally just throwing out moves right now. Like, nowhere near Tantalus. Tantalus, thing is, I, I feel like he's throwing out moves if, as if Tantalus is going to approach, but Tantalus is not going to approach. He's robbed. Yeah. yeah, lasers and gyros. He's gonna build up that damage until he can finally get that grab, if anything. Yeah, but uh -oh. every time he's in the air. Oh no. Oh my god. No, every good, time he's in the air, DK Will is absolutely like decimating him. Every single time he lets his uh, guard down off the stage. DK definitely uh, showing his prowess in the air. Uh oh. Good stuff. Let's see if he can get another Ooh. one. Almost. Very close. I, th I think that actually would have been the game right there too. Yeah, absolutely. Oh oh yeah, so he tried to knock him into it with the gyro, it didn't quite happen. All right, Tantalus. Yeah, he's got to be careful. Jukes. Good jukes. Oh, no, I didn't like this. I don't there. like this. Oh. Is he going to be able to make it back? Yeah, yeah barely. He's got to stay on the stage for a little bit and let his fuel recharge, though. All right, so. DK Will just trying to figure out a way to get in here. Very safe in air. Uh, drifting back, but he still gets caught with that back air. Oh. oh. Gets the last the hit. Very last hit. Gets hit by that back air, but he's going to survive. He's got to be really careful. You see him recovering super low and then coming straight up. Reason is, DK doesn't have very high vertical recovery. So he knows that he's going to be able to make it back. Meanwhile, DK will, will not. Gets hit by that back air, but that's not going to be it yet. Well, thank you, Blast. Thank you, uh, Battlefield, basically. Never seen that. <laughs> So pretty much any hit is going to kill. It looks like Tantalus is actually going for like a grab, maybe a kill confirm, down throw into up air. That was his grab right there too. So yep. DK will stay the shield a little bit too long, but he managed to roll out. He's, oh! That's not going to do it, but almost. One the hit. The pressure. I feel like he should have Z-dropped that one. I feel like Tantalus is going to go for oh! Okay. All right, Tantalus. I was going to say, actually, uh, what I was just about to say is I feel like Tantalus is going to go something wild, like an up smash, but he's going to miss it, and it's going to cost him the game. But actually, he's able to land that one. Will is now down 0-1. Or 1-1. Well, 0-1. He he's, he's down 0-1. Yeah, he's down 0 Tantalus is up 1-0. Right, that? but you see, because if you were... All right, anyway, man, so we're going to go ahead and move into the next game. We got GK Will, uh, a.k.a. Daddy Kong, switching over to Daddy Sheik because uh, Daddy Sakurai. Uh, yes, make bro. sure that character is still good. So it looks like we're going to final destination for game two. What do you think about this counter pick against Rob? I feel like it's a little, uh, I don't know. Mm. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I feel like he, he would have won a smaller stage. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I understand Sheik is faster than, than D, uh, Will or, like, you know, um, DK. Yeah. But at the same time, though, like, uh, Tannel is still going to do the same things he wants to do, which is basically just get space and throw out projectiles. Slash. Get that jab off. Got a slight advantage for DK Will. Nothing crazy. She K Will. Sorry. She K Will. Yeah. That's what ah, he calls himself. True. Maybe that's what that is for an IQ. I could she. But I couldn't fit all of it, so. <laughs> I 
Oh, good tomahawk there. Oh, nice. Up to 109%. Now, he's not going to be able to... I feel like he's not going to be able to punish Tantalus as much in the air as he did with Diddy Kong, but he's going to be able to control the ground neutral game a lot better. That's why I think he went for this pick. Ooh. Good choice. Right, trying, to, trying to get some more grenade uses out of here. I mean, I understand. It's actually a decent edge guard. But uh, more often than that, people just, I mean, like, they're seeing this change their recovery up, so. Another one. Waiting it out. Nice wow, stuff right yeah. there by Tantalus. Tantalus actually a uh, straight bot right now in this matchup, though. Yeah, this is uh, this is not going well for him. He's down over 100%. Throws out the big punch. He's actually going to get hit by that up smash, but he does survive. Oh. So much damage coming out. Uh, Sheik's biggest weakness. She's not able to kill all that easily, but it won't matter if she just never gets hit herself. It's the Neo style. Yeah, the young, young Neo style, the one you were so uh, <laughs> but harassed by. Anyway. Bounce. Jeez. All right, so right, right now, man, I, I honestly, uh, Will defense has also improved. improved uh, like, just, like, his offense is good, too, obviously, because he's playing Sheik and he's done so much damage. But he hasn't been hit too much. And uh, it's not that he's, like, uh, avoiding it. He's just shielding at the right time. So his defense definitely improved a lot with his character. Maybe it's the fact that uh, he doesn't have nearly as much punishable moves so he can play defense quicker. Yeah. But, yeah, I just that's one thing I definitely had to point out right there. He's doing a great job of power shielding. You're seeing a lot of power shields, not just on things like Gyro that are kind of easy, but when Tantalus is, like, trying to come in with Nair, he's hitting that power shield every single time. And I, I kind of like what he's doing with the grenades as an edge guard tool. He knows it's probably not going to hit, but he's forcing a reaction. He's forcing Tantalus either to get up, roll from the ledge, do something. All right, Tantalus finally gets some more damage in there. I mean, he's, he's had uh, DK Will at like 40 for like the last past 40, uh, like 40 seconds, basically. Yeah. Let's see if he can make something happen right now. DK Will he's trying to lap him in damage right now. Good, big damage right here on the jabs. I like it. Yeah, he's almost the full stock ahead, too. Oh. Sheik just, Sheik's the answer. I mean, Sheik is definitely the answer. Like, there we you go. go my, uh, my chat and type exclamation point answer, it's Sheik. Yeah, it absolutely is. Then no matter what the question is, the answer is just Sheik. It's kind of like in League, how the answer was always Karthus. Oh, wow, so he actually gets staged by Wow. Kurt. He could have teched that, he or he could have just DI'd it so that didn't happen. Yeah, definitely could have DI'd to the right right there. I mean, he, he wouldn't have died. Yeah. It's, oh, well. So, Tantalus managed, managed to take a stock at the very least, but at 130, I mean, is it, is it too late or no? We'll find out. It's kind of scary, man, because, like, right now, DK Will has a pretty immense lead, but Rob with Rage is nothing to sneeze at. Uh, he's got a lot of percentage he's going to have to get up, especially considering the, the problems he's had trying to get any hits on uh, DK Will so far. But if he gets maybe, like, three or four good reads into an up smash, that might be able to take off the stock. You're never out of the game with Rage. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. oh. Here we go. We get some started. Uh, All right, sure that was a little crazy. About. Yeah, I feel like the up air was guaranteed, but he gets hit by that F smash, and that's going to be it for the second game. Yeah, I feel like he could have just down throw up air if he just followed the DI. You know? That was, like, literally the second time he's done that, and he was nowhere near hitting that. Even, it will, even air dies and he still didn't get hit by it. So it's just like, I don't know. It's a weird follow-up. Yeah, very strange. All right, so we get some counter pick talk right here. Will is probably going to go ahead and stay with Sheik. That was a pretty dominating match. Yeah. Yeah, he has no reason to switch. Tantalus, I know he does play a few other characters, but I don't think he is an answer uh, for this Sheik, to be honest. I mean, he plays Fox, right? Uh, He used to play Fox. He plays Wii Fit Trainer. I mean, but like, I don't oh, think, yeah. That's not going right. to help him too much unless he's uh, I mean, Wii Fit Trainer literally runs over or, or gets ran over by Sheik. But I if, believe uh, that, yeah. If... Will, Will doesn't know the matchup. He's going to approach Rex and get body for it, so we'll see. Yeah. So it looks like we are sticking with Rob for this game three. Duck Hunt is the choice. Uh, why do you think he would pick this? Seems kind of weird to me. That's not another flat stage. He can get some space to run. I was like, it was the same reason why we thought uh, FD was going to work for him, but you know, DK Will just happened to chase him down so well. He never really got a chance to get off the ledge, to be honest. Yeah. And now he's got more places to land if he needs to recover high. And, you know, just overall lameness. <laughs> All right. Wow, with that, just the ledge get up into the up tilt. That was, okay. I mean, uh, that, that, was, that was an option. Oh, yeah, true. Not one I would have ever considered, but it's already 52%. Sheik is so good at racking up damage super fast. Oh, All right, next up, trying to get another one. Right, he's got he's to follow that DI down from Sheik a little better. I mean, I feel like if you uh, somehow 
keep Sheik in front of you, so she can't like use forward airs or land. Like you can probably get more punishes off that. I mean, back air is not nearly as good as forward. Nor, nor is neutral air. So yeah. punish grabs and whatnot. Every time. Right now, 30% deficit for Tannels. He gets hit by that F air, and I didn't think he DI'd that. I thought he was actually going to be dying from that, but kind of a harrowing reminder of what she can do to you, so be careful. All right, good grab. Oh, that was good. Oh, in the oh. wait. Oh, my God. Is this about to happen? Oh, my God. Is Tannelis about to make an upset? Because this is definitely an upset in anyone's book. Absolutely, yeah. Fourth row. Four, oh, that was close. 147%. Will has to be careful that he doesn't take too much. Oh, okay. Okay, you know, that was that was smart by Will. I actually, for some reason, I didn't think that was going to hit. Me because, neither. like, yeah, like his legs are in the air, but I guess the hitbox a little, you know, extend a little under him. Let's go, Tant. I, I was going to say, he can't get too much percentage off before that first stock is shaved off. So the fact that he got it off right away bodes well for him. We'll just have to see if he actually pulls it out the rest of this match. Tant going for that grab. Unfortunately, misspaced. You see him throwing out a lot of grabs. Unfortunately, it's not working out for him. He got the double roll away, too, so. Surprise, surprise, Will, like, let that fly. I mean, Tannels has literally been hitting the ground and rolling after every time. I was wondering, I was wondering if DK Will was picking that, uh, up on that or not. So, oh, there we go. Whoop. Oh, wow. So the top actually stopping Will there, bringing it back up to even. Only 8% difference between these guys. Oh, back air. He's got to be careful of, like, a bouncing fish. Yeah. Whenever he's off the ledge there. I wonder, I guess, I guess, uh, like, when, uh, when she goes for the extender, like the uh, the combo finisher, like yeah. she extends her foot hitbox from behind her a little bit because she definitely would have got hit by that top in the other way. Yeah. Anyway, so right now uh, DK will start to run away with the lead a, a bit. Yeah, Tantalus is doing a lot of rolling. He's got to be careful. He keeps doing like forward roll into down smash, and if Will just kind of waits there and shields, he's going to be able to punt that super hard. Well, as hard as she can, yeah. I guess. Oh, There's a laser. Absent. Big damage. Barely, though. I mean, he almost got hit by that F air, and there again. Oh, good roll on. So managed to get uh, back, trying to get some stage, uh, some stage control here, or yeah. may maybe just actually get away from the wheel. So he can, oh, oh, <laughs> no, he just gets the up air instead. I thought he was gonna go for uh, the double jump vanish yeah. to bait out the air dodge, but yeah. he didn't even need to. He gets the up air. DK will barely seeking past that one. So just too many rolls, man. Literally just too many rolls in that game. He gave up a lot of damage trying to, I guess, get better positioning with the rolls, and it just was not helping him out at all. Yeah. So oh well, it's it happens. Unfortunate.